Well, it appears we have some breaking news on the Nocta macro legend front. So the source of this information is the Facebook page of Nocta macro detectors. And uh, I'm pulling information from these two videos, legend update, legend update, and if he signals video. Nocta is a fascinating company. I, I recently made a video, I think two or three videos back, uh, saying that I think that the best value detector on the market today is the Simplex. And I've also uh, bought the Amphibio from them. I did not like that as much, and I've been totally honest about that. Now, in terms of, uh, you know, having a face to a brand, Dilek, she is the only spokesperson that I'm aware of. I, I mean, I swing more Mind Lab than, uh, than Nocta uh, because of the Equinox. I have no clue who the Mind Lab spokesperson is, but Dilek has gravity. This is the heavily edited version, and again, I recommend that you watch the whole thing so that you get the uh, information directly from the source. We're done with the updates, guys. It's all done. Okay. Uh, the engineers are done with the updates. Now, uh, let me tell you the plan. Uh, only, only, I believe, four of the initial testers will be sent uh, new devices. Okay. Because these testers are the ones who gave us the best feedbacks and we built upon those feedbacks and we made uh, advancements on the product. The audio was a little bit shaky, so I'm going to paraphrase there. Uh, it seems that they have uh, four testers that they have chosen and they're sending the finished version to those testers first. So the units uh, are going back to those testers only, just for them to look at the um, look at the um, updates. But we're not taking, we're not making any more updates. Okay, uh, we're done. Okay, seems to be a last minute check, and uh, then perhaps shipping, and then she goes into the shipping details. And then we are the same week. Hopefully, well, see, I cannot give days at this point. So we're starting next week. If it's end of next week or mid next week, I don't know. Okay, that's too much detail at this point, but I'll keep you updated. We're going to start the shipments of our distributors. Now, the distributors, what I say distributors, uh, of course, we have distributors all over the world. So the availability, guys, in each country will differ. Okay, um, the first country that we're going to ship is the USA because uh, the, uh, we are trying to be fair to all our distributors around the world, uh, the US, uh, and we actually, you know, we're, we're trying to ship the orders as we receive them, okay, to uh, be fair. So the first country. Uh, to get the uh, first shipment will be US. Actually, let me correct it, the first batch because we're not gonna ship the whole US order at once. We're gonna ship uh, one batch first and then, you know, then we're gonna continue. Now, um, I will try to give you updates as we are shipping, as we start shipping. But at this point, it looks like the shipments, the first you know, units will come out of this factory, hopefully sometime next week, okay? And then I'll uh, try to keep you updated. All right, so video was filmed February 14th, and uh, it, it, she said it should be next week. It's the 21st today that I'm filming this video. So uh, this should be the week, uh, according to that, uh, that the first shipments get shipped. Me personally, I, I am anxious to get my hands on this detector, and I purchased it early. Uh, as soon as the uh, video came out uh, saying that it was available, I bought mine through Kellyco. So um, <laughs> there's another thing that I want to address in this video. If you just want to hear 
what the update is, when it's coming out, that's it. It should shipping should start this week per Nocta's spokesperson uh, Dilek. Um, <laughs> there was lots of interesting stuff that was said otherwise. Uh, but before uh, I give you uh, the details on the um, updates and the shipping, I would actually like to uh, <clears throat> uh, address some of the concerns, some of the posts that I'm seeing on groups, and I would like to respond to some of those posts or rumors or fake news, whatever you want to call it, okay? Oh, dang. But some people were scared that we were going to raise the price on the legend. No, we're not after a few pennies, guys, okay? We, we can tolerate the price increases, cost increases on our end, and we're not going to change the price of the legend, okay? Now, here's where it gets interesting for me. There's also, I also see a lot of, like, rumors or fake news about the uh, shipment of the legend and why it is delayed. So now I'm going to clarify this here once and for all. Fair enough. If there is misinformation, a company should have the ability to clarify, no, this is the real source of information. This is what's going to happen. Um, there is a blog, which I'm going to address that blogger separately in a separate video because I don't want to take uh, everybody's time here. But there's a blog called MD Arena that's followed by many, many people, okay, where on that blog it was said that the shipment of the legend is delayed until May. Now, I have seriously no idea where this information is coming from and why this fake information was posted. And in the same post, okay, they're also talking about issues on the legend, okay, like a coil issue or whatever issue. Now, let me clarify this. There is no issue with the legend, okay? You all know that when you see me detect nine times out of 10, I'm using the MindLab Equinox. But you know what? That detector has some issues. If you go on the internet, you're going to read about uh, when it gets submerged, the box floods. Uh, it has happened. And uh, MindLab has a really good uh, replacement uh, policy and uh, you know a really good repair department. They stand by their product. My point is not to just like make this a mind lab conversation. My point is you can be passionate about the company that you work for. You could be passionate about even the brand that you swing. In terms of information, we have to <laughs> ensure the free flow of information. If she felt that that was wrong, she did the right thing. She addressed it. But this can easily be spun into anything that was negatively said about Nocta is fake news. No, let's not go there. My buddy Ify Signals is a tester for uh, Nocta, and uh, he released a video a month ago uh, that compares the Nocta Macro Legend versus the MindLab Equinox in depth. Hello everybody, this is Dilek with Nocta Macro. Now, uh, today I would like to talk about uh, a video that some of you may have seen or some of you maybe will watch later uh, that was posted uh, on the legend against its competitor model. Now, uh, the YouTube uh, video has been posted by Ife Signals uh, and um, if it signals, actually, let me first tell you this. If it signals has been one of our testers, okay? Um, and he's been a very good tester. We actually thank him for his valuable feedbacks. He's been a tester since day one. And he gave us very, very good feedbacks uh, on the legend. And we actually made many updates you know, just based on his feedback. So um, he's a val he's, he has been a valuable tester for us. Um, and he's actually one of the four, only four testers uh, that the device um, has been sent back to. Okay, so first of all, 
we thank him for all his efforts and for his tests. Now, let's talk about his video, the video he did yesterday. And the only reason why I want to address this video uh, is because now I am seeing many comments uh, under the video on Facebook groups just based on this video and actually a part of that, especially a part of that video. Now, let's talk about that. Uh, by the way, I'm going to refer to him as Ify because I don't know if he wants me to, uh, you know, um, you know, say his name. Maybe he doesn't want to. So I'm just going to refer to him as Ify. So in a video yesterday, Ify put a dime next to <clears throat> a, a, a Ferris target and he couldn't detect the dime, okay, um, but he could detect a dime with the competitor's model. Let's take a look at the iffy signals clip. Okay, I'm going to put the recovery speed back up to 10, and I'm going to show you some testing that I was doing yesterday with recovery speed and reactivity. Okay, so I have it in multi one right now. I have just a piece of rusted, uh, looks like an old wrench that I found. It's very small. And I have it next to about two inches away from a nickel, maybe an inch and a half away from a nickel. Okay, so we're going to crank this recovery speed up to 10. Okay, and this test, well, first we'll go through the test. So we're in multi one. We'll go slow. We hit it once. We hit it that time. Okay, so a sweep speed. And let me go to multi two. I noticed a very, definitely an improvement with multi two. So here's multi two in park. And that's a nickel, so I thought, you know, multi two will probably do better because that's a mid conductor. So let me go back over here now. We have a dime. Okay, so we have a dime. This one's probably two inches apart from it. And there's the uh, same thing, it's just split in half. All right, so we're in multi one now. Recovery speed is still 10. Very slow uh, swing speed, and I'm like right on it. All right, multi two in park. Okay, let me turn this off and turn on the Equinox. A lot of testing and comparing the last couple days. So the big question was iron bias and will it mask? So it, it, in the videos, it's two very long videos. Um, I was listening to uh, the Noctorep Delex say that there's no iron bias right now on uh, the legend, but it's something that could be added, uh, you know, if it's something that people feel is important. Nocta tends to feel that it is a better detector without an iron bias like the Equinox has. Yeah, a cranked up iron bias will mask. So this is at, no need for noise cancel with these tests. This is recovery speed eight. We'll do the same thing. We'll go down to, well, we'll start at eight first and we'll follow the same test. So this is F24, uh, it's not really needed. I'll show you. F22 is a very low iron bias, okay? Four hit these targets okay so we're going to come across is the nickel is the nickel can i hone in on it yep i'm actually bringing the coil a lot higher than i would have before and then right on it is like not a problem I'm like five inches off of it now. Okay, let's go to the dime. This is a this is now a medium iron bias that will help you ignore iron. 
you know, and, and they did this in mind of still being able to recover. Now, would I go hunting with an F29 in a relic site? No, but if I'm in a site that's loaded with iron, that's why I do these tests is to see, you know, what, how high can I go? But this is, this is recovery speed of eight. So either way we're coming, we're hitting that. Now let's see, let's lower. Let's go to recovery speed five and see if we can still hit that. And this is what uh, Nocta had to say about that. Now, based on all the comments that I'm reading, I really want to correct a misinformation uh, because this is really inaccurate and I want everybody to understand this, okay? Uh, I'm curious, what is inaccurate? The, uh, everybody is referring to that scenario as a recovery speed issue. Now, first of all, it has nothing to do with the recovery speed. Let me underline this. It has nothing to do with the recovery speed, okay? And it has nothing to do with the separation capability of the device. Personally, I would argue it has to do with the separation ability of the device. The only reason, the only reason why he is picking that time with the competitor's model is the fact that he has the iron bias setting running, okay, in the other device. What? Now, let's talk about this iron bias setting. Um, the iron bias setting, I've been saying this uh, for so many times now make the viewer feel bad and dumb for missing it? Iron bias setting is a very tricky setting, okay? And in the hands of inexperienced users, in the hands of... If he is definitely not inexperienced, and if that was a difference maker, why wouldn't you put that in your detector? You know, uh, people who really do not understand the iron bias setting, iron bias setting actually may uh, cause you to lose a lot of stuff. No, th this is preying on people who perhaps have not detected long and have not gone into the tech specs. Basically, uh, any signal, there is a certain number that is given uh, in iron, uh, ferrous, and non-ferrous. And uh, the iron bias just allows you to alter how much is factored in to the ferrous setting. In other words, if you don't want to dig a lot of iron and you want to perhaps give up some signals, you're going to turn your iron bias high. But iron is extremely abundant on Earth. So if you set it extremely high, you're going to be compromising depth. Now, there are two things. If the iron by setting is run, okay, at lower levels, then you're going to be actually getting a lot of false signals out on the field, okay? A lot of false signals. That's partially true. Um, I run my iron bias at zero and I dig a lot of iron, but I wanna get that extra depth in order to get down to those really, really significant objects that are far down in the ground. And if you run it too high to get rid of those false signals, then you're gonna uh, run into the issue of losing targets. And the worst is you're not even gonna know that you're losing a lot of good targets. I'm in agreement with that in terms of losing them in that you will sweep over them, but they're too far down to register on your detector. That happens when you have your iron bias too high. That's why since day one, okay, we've been uh, trying to avoid putting in an iron bias setting in this device. And if he actually has been very big on the iron bias setting and has been pushing for an iron bias setting, and this is what I exactly told them. Uh, Ify, I know you like that setting. I know you want to have that option, 
but this is a tricky setting and we're gonna roll the device as is and without this setting first of all we want our okay customers first to experience the stability of this device the capabilities of this device in real field scenarios guys so as many of you may know i'm a teacher and uh, my I, 21 years you got a pretty good bs detector that to me seems like a diversion from what the issue is which would be lack of separation because as uh, if his coil went over the target the iron overtook the non-ferrous target and i also get what's perhaps in question in that if the iron bias was variable or left up to the user which i think is the point that if he was trying to make to uh, nocta that uh, maybe that this wouldn't have happened but i think it's more separation because uh, you saw on the mine lab they turned down the iron bias and they turned down the recovery speed there still was enough separation now what you saw yesterday is just one scenario and even within that scenario if you change parameters even if you change your direction or the direction of the target the direction of the whatever there's so many parameters you're gonna get different results again i do not work for mine lab um they won't even answer emails from me i've actually inquired on a few things and they're not good when it comes to that nocta is a hell of a lot better but here's the thing the equinox was able to pick up both of those signals with no problem whatsoever is, is this a separation issue to me this is a separation issue it, it is being glossed over but uh, maybe they get it in an update or so this is a separation issue and to me the two most important dimensions a detector could have in order of importance one separation two depth so just by looking at one scenario okay uh it's not really very realistic to say oh the nocta macro legend you know oh it has an issue no nocta macro legend at this point has no issue i'm going to stop the video there and i'm going to give two shout outs one to iffy signals and one to delek let's start with iffy one good for you for uh showing your honest uh, doing an honest test and uh the conclusions that you came with them you expressed and that helps us all you know it makes a big difference if we have the right tool for the job and uh, this i think was very telling could it be something that's fixed in an update i do think so uh, but that is on Nocta uh, to do just that. Shout out to Delec. You do not have an easy job at all, and you are fantastic at it. Um, and I really appreciate what uh, Nocta Macro brings to metal detecting. Um, they want to be the best. I get that. I see that. That's clear. And the fact uh, how hard Delec works to like answer every comment and be in every conversation uh, that's going on. I admire that tremendously. So that that's, you know, it, it, we, this is not a complaint about uh, a person or anything like that. There's an easy fix to this, by the way. Um, I know that you want to get your product out, and if his video might have been a mini nightmare for that, but. You know, considering that, uh, do the same test. Have one of your engineers repeat the same test. It's that simple. Now, am I am I not getting the uh, the legend because of this video? No, I'm I'm very much looking forward to getting my legend in the mail, and I'm going to use it, and I'm going to use it a lot. And if it's better than an Equinox, you're going to see me use it. If the Equinox is better, you're going to see me use that one. But that's the ultimate, um, 
that's the ultimate way you could tell what the best product is. And in my honest opinion, right now, uh, although I have the Deus 2 on the way, and I have the Legend on the way, as of right now, it's all Equinox, but I'm a free agent. I'm always a free agent. I hope you knock it out of the park with this, and I'm anxious to get my Legend. Thanks, everybody, for watching.